Did you know that in your lifetime, your mouth will produce enough saliva to fill two swimming pools? Wow! Amazing people do lots of important jobs inside and outside hospitals that help to keep you safe. But what will happen when we have a go? I feel a bit silly. This is Operation Takeover. Can you guess who today's hero is? Well, I'll give you a clue. You might have to fool them if you've over... You're a bit hard to understand. That was a rubbish clue, Chris. We're about to take over the job of today's hero, dental surgeon Anitha. Anitha is a top trainer at the King's College London Dental Institute. Now, how important is it to look after your teeth? It is incredibly important to look after your teeth. Brushing morning and night for two minutes and to try and not eat too many sugary things, fizzy drinks especially. So how often should you see the dentist? You should really see the dentist every six months. Uh, uh, um. What? Anita, Dr. Sand is very proud of his teeth and he would like to show them off to you. Would you mind having a look at them? Absolutely, that's no problem. He's such a show off. Here we go, Zand. Open wide. Right, eight, seven, six. If you've ever wondered what on earth your dentist is talking about when you're in the chair, here's how it works. Each tooth is given a specific number according to where it is in the mouth. Any milk teeth that you still have will be given a letter. And what kind of common problems are you looking for? I'm looking to make sure that you're brushing properly and that there isn't any decay in your teeth. Zand's done very well and he doesn't have any. Very impressive, Zand. Before we let loose on today's takeover challenge, we need a masterclass. But I've no idea who we're going to practice on. We use something very special. We use a phantom head. A phantom head? Ah! Oh, come on, Zand. Really? The phantom, ah! or model head, is used by students to practice doing fillings. You start by putting in a suction tube to remove any extra saliva so the patient doesn't choke. Next, you use the drill. Cool. Attaching the drill bit with a steady hand. There you go. Mix in. Then we're going to imagine that this tooth has a little bit of decay in it. And so we're going to cut a little teeny tiny hole. In goes the filling. We're going to use a white filling material called composite. Which is set hard using an ultraviolet light. Wow. So we cover it so that it doesn't hurt our eyes. And then if you touch it, it's gone completely hard. Amazing. Thanks, Anita. We've seen just how important dentists are for keeping your oral health in tip-top condition. But will we be able to brush up on our skills enough to make our careers as dentists sparkle? Come on. It's time for us to take over as dentists. Your challenge is to perform a filling on the phantom head. The first part is to remove the decay and the second part is to put the filling in. I'll be judging you on your professionalism, your technique and how well you make it look like a real tooth at the end. You know what, Chris? I've really got this challenge. Anitha thinks my teeth look great and now that I've overcome my fear of the phantom heads, there's really nothing to worry about. Oh, you've overcome your fear, have you? Yes, well, I this have. won't bother you at all. <laughs> Come on, Chris. It's time to get our teeth into this. No problem. First of all, we get out the drill. Put that right in. OK. That's very good. Hello, sir or madam. Drill. Ooh. Ooh that was, that was Whoa! Good. OK. <laughs> Health and safety, Zand. Before you take your eye out and press oh, the back, it goes in and it locks it. <laughs> so, first big mistake. So we've got to lock the drill bit into the handpiece. It can fly out and then that could hurt somebody. It, it's a bit nerve-wracking because it looks so much like a real tooth. I kind of don't want to drill into it. I'm drilling already. What about the suction, Smarty Pants? So he's forgotten to turn his suction on. That's embarrassing. So if it was a real patient, they'd be gurgling. Now... Um, I'd focus on yourself rather than me, Zand. Oh, he's got his hands in the patient's eyes. We don't do that usually. Come on, slow coach. I've moved on to filling. Right behind you. I've had to use quite a lot, and I think I may have drilled out a little too much tooth. Oh, Zand. I mean, it's very clear now why people have to train for years and years how to do this. Just need to set it with the UV light. Probably enough. And, uh, right, thanks very much, sir, uh, or madam, you can go on your way. Well, I think I'm done. A satisfied customer. 
You can close your mouth now. Not sure he's impressed. Fingers crossed Anita is. Time for the verdict. Anita, how did we do? Well, you both tried really hard. That's tried. not good. Mm. That is not good. On further professionalism, Sand, you did put your fingers in the patient's eyes. I was, I, I was in a place to rest my hand. Technique-wise, Sand did take a bit more tooth off than we normally would. For the final product, actually, you were both not too bad. So what's the verdict? Chris. Yes. Oh! I guess I wasn't expecting to lose. What, because you'd had such a good time? I'd begun to believe uh, that I'd become a dentist. Will Zond, you may have felt like a real dentist, but you're not a real dentist. That is job most certainly best left to the professionals. Anita, I think you better have our coats back. Fabulous.